Today I'll show you one of the most common editing tricks you'll use with any video editing software. How to split a video clip into two separate clips. And remove unwanted footage from the middle of a clip. If I scrub forward by swiping to the left on the screen, you'll notice that at a certain point in this clip, a person can be seen walking through my shot. I could blur this out, but the easiest thing to do is just remove that section of the video clip. Notice in the very upper left corner, you'll see the person begin to walk through. So I'll move to that point in the clip, select the clip Wipe over on the toolbar, and then tap split. This will create a separate clip. I'll move to the end of the clip where the person disappears off screen. Select the clip once more by tapping on it and then tap split again. Now I have three separate video clips, a beginning, a middle, and an end. To remove the person walking through my shot, all I need to do is tap once on the clip in the middle located between the two transition points, the little gray ovals. That clip is now selected, then I can swipe over on the main toolbar and tap the trash can. This will remove the clip. Now when I play the clip once more, you will not see the person walk through the shot. Here's the first transition point, then the rest of the clip continues. And notice that you don't see the person walking through my shot. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Anytime you remove a section of video, you'll need to export the video once more to make the changes permanent. I might use this in future tutorials, so I'll export the video by tapping on export. Then I'll choose a resolution, usually 1080p, because I upload these clips to YouTube. Then I'll tap on photos to save the video to my camera roll. Don't interrupt the export in any way while it's happening. If you do, the video might not export properly and you'll have to repeat the export process. The new video clip has been exported and can be found inside your camera roll or wherever you saved it.